Hey guys, uh, welcome to your February 2020, uh, 2023 prediction reading for Leo. This is going to be for, um, like I said, your February. So you could apply this to any of your placements, okay? This reading could be, could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate with you, uh, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Leo people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you a book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. All right. So tell me about uh, Leo. Tell me about Leo here in February. Tell me about Leo in February 2023. What is surrounding Leo? What does Leo need to know? What can Leo expect for February 2023? Okay. Tell me about Leo here. Tell me about Leo in February 2023. Tell me about Leo in February 2023. Knight of Wands here and the Empress here, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Empress, Libra, Taurus, okay? The Hierophant here and the Seven of Swords. I feel like, now, I mean, this, apply this to your own unique situation. It could be you with a lover. It could be you with a friend. It could be you with a child. It could be you with a parent. But I feel like you're dealing with a situation here where someone here, when it comes to your morals, your core values, this person's not in alignment with you, okay? Uh, I do feel like there's lies and deception here. I do feel like whoever this is, I do feel like this person's playing you in a way where, you know, when you tell them your core values, what, you know, what you live by, I feel like this person's gonna be agreeable, but this person doesn't live by these values, okay? I just feel like they're trying to get you to like them, you know, by agreeing with everything that, uh, like, with who you are as a person, what you like and stuff like that. The Hierophant, Taurus Energy, Seven of Swords. Chariot, Cancer Energy, and the Hermit. I mean, you can't even get away faster or can't get away quick enough from this person here. You know, there is the energy of like, you know, someone here is coming in to take from you, okay? And I feel like you're trying to get away from this person. You're running away like a thief in the night here, okay? Uh, whoever this is, this is someone that you might have been dealing with for on and off for quite a while here, okay? But I feel like, you know, regarding the situation, you could be coming to a realization that, you know, uh, it could be a situation, yeah, there's something that you're doing that you're attracting this person or that, you know, this is just a shitty person that, that's coming in and I feel like you're distancing yourself from this individual, okay? Cancer energy with the chariot, hermit, Virgo energy, the knight of wands here. You have the king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, the empress here and the tower here, Aries, Scorpio, whoever this is. Seems like this person's coming in to blow up your world a little bit. Like I said, this is really general. This could be love. This could be a, a friend, a family member. This could be like a mother and a child or a father and a child situation here. Okay. This is someone that c comes in and out. Uh, this is an individual that um, can test the boundaries of the law here too. Tell me about the uh, Hierophant here. Uh, we got the Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords here, and Temperance. You already know what's up with this person. Yeah, this is someone that you don't want to deal with or that this person, you know, is someone that you made a decision to cut this person out. And they feel like this person's lonely. This person's missing you. This person might be financially not doing well and that could be one of the reasons why they're coming back. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, you, you know, warning bells are going off. Your guides and your angels and your ancestors are kind of like, you know, 
you know, frantic trying to protect you here, okay? Uh, tell me about the chariot. Why is the chariot here? The chariot and the nine of cups and the hermit here and the star. Yeah, what we have here is I just feel like, you know, you've done so well without this individual. You've been happy here. You've been optimistic. You're, you've been healing here, you know, and I just feel like you just don't want to jeopardize your progress here, Leo. Nine of cups here and the star, Aquarius energy. This is you protecting yourself here, okay? Uh, what else do we have here for Leo? What else do we have here for Leo for um, February 2023? What else do we have here for Leo for February 2023? Tell me about Leo in February 2023. Tell me about Leo here for February 2023. Okay. Two of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Seven of Wands here and the Six of Cups. Yeah, the past is trying to come back here. And I feel like you're doing everything that you can to block this person, push this person away. Whoever this is, this king here is confused as to why you won't allow them back into your life, okay? This is an individual here that might have options here too, okay? With uh, this Queen of Swords, this Queen of Cups here, because I feel like you're this Empress, but... I mean, there's multiple people here, so just you could place yourself where you see fit. Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. This is interesting because I feel like this player here that you're dealing with here, this hot and cold person, I feel like there are other people talking about this person too. Yeah. Uh, I would not be surprised if these other feminine energies reached out to you in regards to this person here. Send the wands here in the Six of Cups, but if they did, I feel like you wouldn't really entertain having a conversation with them because I feel like you, you're just better than that, Leo. Okay, send the wands here in the Six of Cups. Tell me about this Two of Swords here. Two of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Oh my God, how many people is this person talking to here? Well, the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands, I mean, it could be an indication that you do have a strong uh, connection with this individual or that this person does have a whole harem of people here where this person's confused or that they don't know who to choose, okay? Uh, there is a bit of a hot and coldness here, all right? We have the Ace of Wands here in the Sun. This seems like a love reading. You know, when I do these prediction readings, I try to like focus on other things, but there's a heavy focus on love here. Leo energy with the Sun, whoever this is, this person's confused to why you're not, you know, allowing them back into your life. Queen of Swords here, Six of, uh, Six of Wands, Queen of Cups here, and the Page of Swords, Leap or Aquarius, Gemini here. Someone here is heavily spying on you. Okay, someone here is trying to gather information on you. You know, I just feel like you've just been so successful in your life since this person has been out of it. Like I said, there's no possible way that you're going to go back here. The Seven of Wands and the Page of Wands and the Six of Cups here and the Ace of Swords. What we have here is I just feel like you're cutting out the past. Yeah, you're just cutting out the past. As soon as this person comes back, like I said, you know, I, I just feel like there's an energy of you running away like a thief in the night and just hiding in the, the mountains of the Himalayas. You know, I mean, it could be any mountain, but, you know, uh, there's a sense of running away here. So, Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.